I wanted to spend a couple of minutes to explain to you how you can increase your crown production numbers. That's always been a frustration when I was in private practice. How do I make more money doing crowns? Well, there's a real simple solution for that. If you add a 20 minute whitening to the crown process, you're gonna be able to increase your crown production numbers. So let me kind of explain it to you and give you some verbiage that's gonna really help you increase your numbers. So you're gonna do a crown prep, business as usual, it's what you always do, and you're gonna get ready to take the shade. At that particular point, involve the patient in that shade making decision. You're gonna ask the patient, what color would you like your tooth? And intuitively as dentists, we're thinking, well, we have to match the existing tooth color because that's what we've always done. But little do you know, most patients wanna have their teeth whitened. And if they wanna have their teeth whitened, the next step is what is the process? Well, if all you're doing in your office is taking impressions and making take home trays and sending the patient on their way, teeth whitening in conjunction with the crown preparation is not really a good solution. But if you were to have a 20 minute in office whitening along with the crown preparation, then it becomes a perfect solution. So what's the sequencing of events? Let's go through this, because it's only a couple of steps and it's a really easy thing to get started. And the language to increase crown production is really easy for both you and your dental assistant. So you're gonna do the crown preparation. You're gonna ask the patient what color they want their tooth. They're gonna kind of look at you inquisitively and they're gonna say, what do you mean? And what you're gonna tell them is that you have two choices. Either you can match the existing tooth color or you can make their smile brighter and whiter in 20 minutes by using an in-office whitening system. While you're making the temporary, you're doing the in-office whitening. And we'll explain the in-office whitening in just a second. So now what happens is if your average price of a crown is $1,000 and you add $100 in-office whitening to it, you're doing a couple of different things. You've just increased your crown production by 10%, which is a significant number. More importantly, you're giving the patient what they want. You're giving them a brighter and whiter smile. You're gonna give them a crown that's gonna match a brighter and whiter smile. And that's a win-win for both you and the patient. So what's involved in a 20 minute tooth whitening? Well, in order to whiten somebody's teeth in 20 minutes, you have to remove the pellicle layer. You have to polish away the pellicle layer that's on the existing teeth. So after the crown preparation, you're gonna polish the teeth quickly with pumice, with or without fluoride. You could even use proby paste if you choose. So now you've got clean teeth. You're gonna do a 20 minute tooth whitening and then you're gonna go ahead and take the shade. So by the time you finish making the temporary, which is a short procedure, but by the time you finish making the temporary, the teeth will be brighter and whiter. So now you're gonna take a shade. You're gonna give the patient a brighter and whiter crown. They're gonna be happy, you're gonna be happy. And in fact, the word of mouth, just from giving the patient what they want, which is a brighter and whiter smile in conjunction with the crown preparation, will allow your crown preparation revenue to soar. Imagine that if you, for example, do maybe about forty or $50,000 a month just in crown and bridge preparation. If you can increase that by just 10% by giving patients a 20 minute whitening, you've increased your crown preparation revenue by almost $50,000 for the year. That it is an amazing tip and that is what's gonna allow your practice to soar in 2017.